Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's Noble Beer Views. Today I have another beer from Resident Culture Brewing Company out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, this beer is called Baby You're Out. I really don't know what that's in reference to. Um, but the description is American IPA hopped with mosaic, which is kind of different than what they... Usually their stuff says New England or hazy style which is weird, so it doesn't say that. I wonder if it's West Coast. Um, and it's also kind of strange. It usually says, like, double dry hopped with this, or... It's kind of strange, and it's... It sounds like it's single hop too, but I'm all about that, because I like single hop mosaic beers. Uh, and this is 7% ABV. I did not try this at the brewery or anything, so... Uh... This is as new to me as it is to you, and looking at it, it is really, really transparent, which is pretty awesome. Um, they don't usually do these types of IPAs very often, or when they do, they don't usually package them. They, they do actually have a decent amount of West Coast IPAs on tap, but they usually don't can them. Um... So as you can see, I would say it's kind of translucent. It's not completely transparent. It is a little cloudy, but I mean, you can still see my finger through the back side of it. Uh, with a pretty small white head. Um, I smelled it a little bit just pouring it. Um, <clears throat> but the, the aroma is just, it's very, very mosaic forward. Very, uh, like that sweat sock. Um, funky mosaic character um, that I, I know some people don't like that but I really dig it um, yeah it's like I, I'm, I'm also picking up something that I'm maybe it's just in my head because uh, I've experienced this with some of their other, uh, like, West Coast IPAs, but, uh, there's something in it that smells a little bit, uh, like, uh, diacetyl, too, like, a little buttery, but it, it's not, like, a super prominent note, it's definitely more hops, so we'll see. Yeah. No, whatever I was getting in the nose is absolutely not there in the taste, which is awesome. Um, this is so light. Wow. Uh, man. I cannot believe this is 7%. I would, honestly, I... Like, for one, I, I guess, uh, first I was going to say it kind of reminds me of, of an IPL... But it doesn't have that, like, long-lasting, like, fruity, estery kind of, uh, yeast character. Or, I mean, it does have that. It doesn't, it doesn't finish, like, super dry. So I guess, you know, that makes it more of an IPA, but... just very very light and crisp and it showcases the mosaic hop so so well uh, I mean it has it has that pineapple character there's a little bit of a there's a little bit of a, a piney dankness to it some really nice like bready malts too uh, I can't, I honestly cannot believe this is 7%. It is so light, but it, it's not light, like, in a bad way at all. It's just super crisp. Um, but the body is just super light. Uh, this is so far away from, like, all the other I poppy stuff that they do. It's really interesting, and I actually like this a lot better than, that they're hazy stuff. 
and that's not to say that their hazy stuff is good, but I, to me, I, I just like that hot flavor. I don't need all that other, like, plant material, bitter, whatever. Like, if you make a really light malt base, you don't have to put a crap ton of hops in it. Like, I don't need the beer to be, to look like orange juice. If it looks like this, but it tastes like this, then that's fine. I don't care. Like, this is so delicious. Now, I really wonder, too. It's kind of funny. I don't think about it that often, but... Tropes, the guy who is the brewer at Resident Culture, he came from Russian River, so... To me, that's just kind of interesting because, you know, pretty much everything Russian River does is like super clean and traditional. You know, Pliny the Elder is a crystal clear beer and that type of thing. So at least I, I don't know his whole background. I don't want to speak for him, but I assume that he's, you know, traditionally trained like that. So it's kind of funny that he's here doing like these super hazy IPAs. Um but this, like to me, this would be more of what I feel like he was probably like trained on. Um, but yeah, I, I don't remember what this cost. I think it was like seventeen bucks or whatever. But I will buy the crap out of this. I mosaic to me is like mosaic citra. I guess mosaic citra. Uh, Galaxy and Simcoe are probably like my four, the four hops that I think can really, really stand on their own. And I think, uh, and N Nelson Sauvin too, I think are w make really, really good uh, single hop beers. Um, it's really funny. I can't believe locally I've not heard anyone talking about this. I guess everyone just wants hazy stuff, but I, I absolutely love this, how light this is. Super flavorful. Um, yeah. Just really, really nice. Lightly dank. Pineapple. A little bit of peach. Nothing. But that that's it. Like, it's just really nice, fresh hop character. None of that plant material stuff. Um, it's really finishes really dry and clean too. It's just a great, great beer. I absolutely would will buy this again um, next time I'm there if they have some. I'm getting more of it. This is a delicious, delicious beer. Uh, so uh, anyone who watches this, if you're in the Charlotte area or whatever, and you haven't had this yet, buy it right now. Uh, this is one of the. In my opinion, this is one of the best IPAs that they've done. It's absolutely delicious. It's it's different than a lot of them, but I don't care. It's still really, really good. Um, but I think that's all I got in this one. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.